Welcome back to Observer. We just enter the mind of someone who's very, very nearly dead and just been mauled by some creature. We're going to see what we can recover from their mind. And I believe this window is going to break again, by the way, as it did at the end of last episode, so just be warned for that jump scare. Oh. Hey, baby. I'm home. Talk about fragmented. Here it is. Amir, is that you? Is this what's in their head? Just nightmares? I mean, I guess they are dying, aren't they? Oh, looks like my visions don't work inside of an observation. <laughs> Look at that. I just love that effect. 987. Another one of these. They really do seem like Easter eggs or something. not to show up during the day. Zero G. Thank you. 
least looping. Maybe I need to go there? Place of the trash cans? Should be right ahead. Oh, okay. So it changes each time. I think it's this way. Oh. Light. This one? Panel next to the door. This one. Oh. Guess I did it. This fucking slop again. It's called soup. I dig in, it's not getting any better. Yes! Finally!
Amir, do you remember the night we met? It's hard to forget. see right through you. I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos, you were like a big wounded animal. Lost. Alone. Hey, at least you knew what you were getting into. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I, I did. did. sickness and in health forsaking all others to have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part any regrets none Interrogation aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Emergency extraction procedure successful. What a grim scene. Okay, so I want to talk about that whole sequence a little bit. It's a, uh, it's an interesting mixture of some actually really interesting and well-done stuff and also some really not well-done stuff. Um, so it makes sense why it would be so horrifying, kind of like a, a, you know, a bit like a horror movie or something. 
because, well, they're literally dying and they just experienced something absolutely horrible, some creature mauling them to death, and their life has been pretty much shit in and out of prison and stuff and dealing with addiction. So it makes sense why all these horrible things would be happening. And I really appreciated, uh, I really liked how fragmented everything was. I thought that part was really well done in that observation or interrogation, if you want to call it that. I, like, I just loved how broken and weird everything was, moving and shifting and nothing staying the same. I like that aspect of it. But the way that it was kind of set up, they set it up like a haunted house, like... It's done in such a cheesy, stereotypical horror game fashion, you know, a scary thing walks past the door and jump scares and stuff like that, and... It... that really hurts it for me. Like, it's a mixture of this interesting, broken, fragmented imagery that gives me little insights into what actually happened in this person's life, which is really interesting and well done, mixed with this, like, really silly haunted house stuff that just hurts the... hurts my... Uh, hurts the believability of it. So, it's an interesting mix. Definitely doesn't all work for me, but some of it does. Wait, what the hell is this? This is literally a bloodbath. Like... Did all their blood just end up in there, or was it like that before, or what? Well, you got your last picks. Hope it was worth it. Nice, Daniel. He's such a good person. The only thing that was keeping him alive. Assistant Class C. Uh, criminal record, case number, blah blah blah, assault, robbery, drug possession, sentence served, deceased, Amir Noak. Lousy ink. Probably got him in prison. Pattern indicates gang affiliation. Composed of ethanol, soot, and water. Model Panacea 115, also manufactured by Chiron, as always. Chemical trays detected, controlled substance 45F. Another controlled substance. Illegal sedative. Is that synchrosine? Synchrosine. Powerful augmentation stabilizer, strict dosage control advised. Collected. I'll take that, thank you. Blood. From them, of course. Traces of controlled substance 45F detected. Lacerated wound. Extensive intestinal damage, life threatening severity. No match found for the weapon. pattern matches the one from previous victim. I'm really wondering how so much blood ended up in here. That is quite extraordinary. Chiron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. Hmm. Helena Nowak. Same last name as the person over there. Junior programmer. The <laughs> the night vision. Oh, you know what? I just realized what I think those are. I mean, they might still be uh, like Easter eggs or something like that, or the development team or something, but I think in-universe there are pictures of people that have um, 
been subjected to the Neurophage. And the damage is done to them. I guess some people survived, but with damage from the Neurophage kind of eating away at them. Yeah, it sounds like the, um, the Neurophage makes a bunch of nanobots just kind of dig into you and just destroy you and tear you apart. So they both lived here. So where did they go? Where did they end up? I guess they escaped. Helena, I mean. A credit chip. Handy for storing off the grid currency. Wow, no markings at all. Just a chip and a stripe. Ah, check the computer out in a second. Three people. Helena and the guy's name I forgot, and the third person. It updated the case log. What did it update it with? Amir Noak is dead, but his wife managed to escape. The Dream Eater showed me glimpses of a tattooed parlor. I think I saw one down in the building's courtyard. Ah, oh, yeah. Probably would know the person. <laughs> the Dream Eater. The grim name. I wonder if that's the official name or just kind of the unofficial name. I think that's it except for the computer. Work with Chiron. Every job well done helps defend Chiron. Productive citizen. Avoid civic demotion. Remain active. Apply for an authorized appointment now. Filter appointments. Lowest to highest. Citizen class C. Compensation any. Waste disposal technician. Junior pest exterminator. Drone assembly line operator. Data courier. Junior Service Technician. Mail should be interesting. Uh, it's showing again. First off, as your attending tattoo artist, I must advise you to stop sending me these messages. If you think you have a problem, come see me at the shop. Secondly, the piece on your neck was healing up fine the last time I saw it. The accelerant worked, and if it really is, as you claim, getting all messy, it most likely has something to do with your incessant scratching and tampering. For the last time, leave it alone. Drop by for a checkup if you want, but do not bore me with your petty anxieties. I'm not a psychologist. Hmm. Well, it could just be from tampering with it, but... If something that was just installed maybe started having issues that could indicate the nanophage, that was one of the symptoms. Like redness around wounds and things like that. Corrupted data. The last batch you brought in was partially corrupted. I've managed to salvage most of it, but like I said before, you have to give the decryption tool more time to break through their scramblers. We are to keep up this arrangement. You need to deliver on your end. This is sensitive data. Each distorted line of code means hours of additional work, and my time is very precious. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The software is undetectable. The only way you're getting caught is if someone catches you physically interacting with the workstation. I know you're scared, and I'm well aware of the risk this situation puts you in, but that is precisely what I'm paying you for. A. A for Adam? Regarding a favor. Sorry, Hella. I know we go back a ways, but I really can't help you this time. I really wish I could, but even putting aside Amir's ongoing health issues, 
the higher-ups have enforced a strict hiring policy. No C-class citizens and especially no ex-cons. I know Amir is not a bad guy and he deserves another shot, but there's really no way I can get around these asinine regulations. Again, I'm real sorry. If there's any other way I can help out, let me know. Take care, Anita. Hmm. CV. Looking for a job at Chiron. I'm sure just trying to infiltrate them, of course. Strength and skills, team player, human resource management. Working experience, delivery. Sanitation. Penitentiary. <laughs> There's that game again. Alright. So I think I need to go to the tattoo parlor. Anything else in this place I haven't scanned? Ooh. What's that? Some strange looking hair. Not human. Not animal. Huh. Yeah, so that thing that was jumping through the door that we saw for just a brief moment at the very end, right before they died, it did look mostly human. It definitely looked humanoid. And given that, maybe it's some sort of a amalgamation, some sort of a crossbreed. Still don't know how all that blood got in there. Still find that very strange. I mean, that's not just like a little bit of blood. That's like literally a pool of blood. It's so red. <laughs> I mean, imagine it's mostly water, but still. I'll leave that off. Respect the dead. Don't waste their power. So, tattoo parlor. Anything else? The nearby tenants might give me some additional intel. Yes. So it says option. I assume that means optional. Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing the lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Maybe the neighbors know something. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealer? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. 
Yeah, I think it's more like working against the corporation from the inside has that effect. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. And again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> that's new. Yeah, between the growling, and the hair, and what we saw of it, and that other person we spoke to a while ago, talking about how they... the, the smell of the thing reminded them of their childhood, reminded them of an animal. It's definitely some sort of human-beast hybrid. Yeah, here's another one of these. Yep, so that would be some of the effects of the nanophage. It says notes, ready for disposal though. I mean, they look... obviously they're hurt, but they're... they look alive. Were they gonna kill them anyway? Or maybe that's just the nanophage before it's fully progressed. And there's no stopping it, I guess? I don't know. This place is so, like, it feels so open world. I mean, can't I just go up to the next floor? Oh. The hell? Is that supposed to spook me? <laughs> like, that's the cheesy horror game stuff that I was talking about. Um. Daniel, you okay? Pest control for a healthier society. No, don't get rid of my misshapen lumpy birds. I love them. So, like, can I just start exploring this floor? I guess I can. I mean, is there anything up here? There's gotta be something. There's so much room. But I wonder if I'm supposed to maybe come back here later? Interview some more people? I don't know. Go up! Okay. Bird friend just gave me a hug. They definitely rely on cheesy jump scares a lot. Case log updated. What? What did I just find? What's this? Oh, it's a different case. Case 776. Nosy neighbor. Not often do you see a reinforced door in this district. This one seems to have malfunctioned. It might be worth a look. Huh. I'm assuming this is just a side quest. Interesting. So I really should explore then, huh? I thought maybe that'd make it quieter, but nope, no luck. Don't see any way to turn that thing off. Guess we'll have to live with it. Whoa. That looks like blood. I think. It's kind of dark. What is, what is that little thing? I think it might just be a visual glitch. Gotta be careful though, because sometimes when you enter one of these visions, there's something very small that you need to look at. Like the implants inside of the heads and stuff. But yeah, this is a shit ton of blood. Was there yet another person killed by that thing? Wait a minute, there's something behind this. I don't know if that's like supposed to be a thing that I need to interact with. 
Uh, when standard cleaning products are no longer enough, when you crave absolute cleanness and freshness, all-purpose body and home appliance varnish. Wait, that's like an old school laptop, I just realized. That's gotta be rare at this point, right? What? The hell? This is... That's a kidney dish. I mean... I'm thinking like, cannibal? But... Could this... Not be? Could this just be animal? Let's see. No, that's a human liver. Mild ulceration detected. Could be cannibal or it could be some sort of a chop shop, I don't know. Holy shit. Uh, someone's been here very recently because they've got something on the stove. So this split not be, might not be from the owner being attacked. It could just be from cutting up people. Deluxe protein pastes. Maximum calories. Unobtrusive taste. 25 credits. Oh god, what are they gonna have in here? <laughs> Lots of Tupperware. Hmm. A little bit worried about the owner coming back. Or maybe they're here. Oh, fuck me, that's human skin, isn't it? What in the hell have I found here? Alright, well, this looks to be a pretty big place, so I think I'm gonna save the exploration of the rest of this for later. Wasn't expecting to find something so big. But yeah, definitely worth exploring in this game. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to learn more about this, I think, serial killer.